Assalamu alaikum everyone, from today we will start full course of introduction to psychology part 1 PSY 312 by Dear Knowledge. Well, in this video we will study chapter 1, lesson 1, in which we will discuss the nature and application of psychology. But before starting our study, the question arises, why study psychology? Psychology not only helps us understand why people do the things they do, but it also helps us better understand ourselves and our reaction to other people. Psychology can help you understand how your brain and body are connected, how to improve your learning abilities and memory, and how to deal with the stress of life, both ordinary and extraordinary. In studying psychology, understanding of the methods psychologists use is important because psychology's research can be flawed. And knowing how research should be done can bring those flaws to light. Finally, the critical thinking that psychology and its method of research promote can be used to evaluate not just research but also claims of all kinds, including those advertisers and politicians. The field of psychology. Some people believe that psychology is just a study of people and what makes them tick. Psychologists do study people. But they study animals too. What makes people and animals tick is what goes on inside their bodies and brain as well, what they do. So the definition of psychology would include that psychology is a scientific study of behavior and mental processes. In psychology, we study behavior as well as mental processes. Behavior include all of our outward or overt actions and reactions, such as talking, facial expressions, and movement, whereas mental processes refer to all the internal or covert actions or activities of our mind, such as thinking, feeling, and remembering. The question is, why scientific? Well, they use scientific methods to study, to study behavior and mental processes in both animals and humans, researchers have to observe them. Scientific methods are used to eliminate possible biases. Because to study behavior and mental processes in both animals and humans, researchers have to observe them. Whenever a human is being observing anyone or anything, there is always a possibility that the observer will, will see only what he or she expects to see. Psychologists don't want to let these possible biases cause them make faulty observations. They want to be as precise and measure as carefully as, carefully as uh, they can. So they use the scientific methods to study psychology. Okay, biases is a personal judgment based on beliefs rather than facts. Psychologist goals. Every science has goals. In physics, the goal concerns learning how the physical world works. In astronomy, the goals are to chart the universe and to understand both how it came to be and what is, uh, what it is becoming. In psychology, they have four goals that aims at uncovering the miseries of human and animal behavior, which is description, explanation, prediction, and control. The description includes what is happening, whereas explanation, why is it happening, in prediction, when will it happen again, whereas in control, include how can it be changed. Description, what is happening, describes a particular behavior by careful observation. The first step in understanding anything is to give it a name. Description involves observing and noting everything about it. The question include what is happening, where is it happening, to whom it happens, and under what circumstances it seems to happen. The goal of description provides observation. A simple example would be an example. A teacher might notice that a young girl in her second grade classroom is behaving oddly. She is not turning in her homework, her grades are slipping badly, and she seems to have a very negative attitude towards school. That what is she doing? That's what is she doing. So, the description of what she is doing gives a starting place for the next goal. Why is she doing? And that why is explanation. Explanation is why is it happening? So, in explanation, we go for why of a behavior. They are looking for explanation of a behavior. Explains behavior by conducting experiments. 
So a theory is a general explanation of a set of observations or facts. So the goal of explanation is to help build the theory. So let's continue that example. To find out why the girl is doing all these things, the teacher would most likely to ask the school counselor to administer some test. Her parents might be asked to take her to a pediatrician or mm, to make sure that there is no assess. So in other words, they are looking for the explanation. If all tests seem to indicate that the young girl has a learning problem such as dyslexia, the next step would be trying to predict what is more what is likely to happen if the situation says the same. So dyslexia is an inability to read at expected levels of, for a particular age and degree of intelligence. Prediction. When will it happen again? Determine what will happen in the future is a prediction. Predict when a behavior that is being studied will happen in the future based on previous research into similar situations. For example, for that little girl, the psychologist or counselor would predict that this little girl will probably continue to do poorly in her schoolwork and may never be able to reach her full learning potentials. Then clearly something needs to be done to change this prediction. It is changing or modifying behavior, that is control. How can it be changed? Control uh, or the modification of some behavior that has been somewhat controversial in the past modify inappropriate behavior, change a behavior from undesirable to desirable one. Undesirable like such as failing in the school and desirable one can be such as academic excess, uh, success. Such efforts also include attempts at improving the quality of life. So control or modification of some behavior um, has been somewhat controversial in the past. Some people hear that control uh, as uh, thinking of brainwashing, but that is not the focus of this goal. The goal is to change a behavior from an undesirable one to a desirable one. Such efforts also include attempts at improving the quality of life. Uh, in the example of the young girl, there are certain learning strategies that can be used to help a child who has dyslexia improve reading skills. The psychologist and educators would work together to find a training strategy that would work best for the particular girl. Let's look at the difference between uh, description and explanation. So description involves observation, whereas explanation involves hypothesis. Description uh, is like what is happening, whereas explanation is why is it happening? Description is the first step of goal of psychology, whereas explanation is the second step of goal of psychology. Description is observing a behavior and noting everything about it, whereas explanation would be found exp found finding an explanation for a behavior. The goal of description in, uh, provides the observation, whereas the goal of explanation helps to build the theory. So, uh, not all psychological investigation will try to meet all four uh, of these goals. Uh, in, some uh, in some cases, the main focus might be on description and prediction, as it would be for a personality theorist who wants to know what people are like, and that is description, and what they might do in certain, situ certain situations that will be prediction. Some psychologists are interested uh, in both description and explanation as um, uh, is the case with experimental psychologists who de uh, design research to find explanation for observed uh, behavior that is described behavior. Therapist course would be more interested in control, although the other three goals would be important in getting to the goal. So. Mm, these goals have not really changed in the years since psychology's beginning, but the method of achieving um, them certainly have changed. So uh, that was the end of our uh, first lesson. In the next video, we will discuss the history and historical background and school of psychology, a brief survey. If there is any query, any feedback or suggestion or any topic you want to understand, you are most welcome to type in a comment. 
We upload videos in English, Urdu and Hindi because our main aim is to clear your concepts uh, in those languages in which you can easily get the point. So thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you will be notified uh, of the upcoming video. Plus also share this video so those people who are in search of online tuition can get benefit from our channel. Uh, till then, Allah Hafiz.